but the party continues underneath the lights as the fans are piling into the corral for X Games Aspen 2020. Ready for some big action here tonight as we get set to kick off the second of our two contested ski events and a brand new one here for 2020. It is the Ski Knucklehawk. Welcome to Buttermilk Mountain, everyone. My name is Jimmy Coleman, sitting in the booth alongside Jen Hudak. We have Tom Wallish out in the field. And as a matter of fact, Tom, I'm getting word you're not just doing sideline reporting, you're actually going to ski in this event as well. Yeah, yeah fun enough. enough. I'm going to be out. out here skiing with everybody, having a blast. There's going to be butters, all sorts of tricks. Ski knuckle hook. This is going to be going off, so uh, stay tuned. Well, there you go. Tom's embedded in the field, and he's part of the action as well, so that is going to be exciting. So it's a 20-minute jam session out here tonight. We're going to have uh, eight athletes in the field, and, well, I mean, Tom pretty much broke it down for us right there. It's all about creativity and having a good time out here. You're literally you're just making it up as you're going along. However, we are handing out some X Games hardware here tonight. It's winner take all. There's no second and third place on the podium. It's winner takes all to walk out here with gold as we take a look at our first competitor. This is Per Heiglin out of Sweden. Per is known for his nose press and nollies. Woo! Starting us out nice, taking it pretty deep on the landing there. These guys are so playful, and from the looks of this field, it's really going to be a battle between Park City, Utah, and Sweden. I should say, you got a couple of guys from Park City, Utah, then you got Tornator Wallace from Aspen, you got Tom from Pittsburgh, and then everybody else hails from Sweden. So it's overall impression. Once that jam session clock gets started, it's how well you do in the entire 20 minute scope of the time out here in the jam session. Jam session. We have an X Games rookie on the course right now, one of those Park City boys we were talking about, Colby Stevenson. Colby's been having a great season, coming off a of third place. Sending it a little deep on the landing right there. So deep. How about the follow cam shot right there? Good stuff. Great follow cam shot. And Colby is such a well-rounded skier, and I think he's just gonna, he's just getting started here. I love it. Playing off the trick up to, off the jump up top there, and then putting the feet down. Looking pretty solid. And if you notice on the skier's right side here, there's a little bit of a lip built up. It's a bit more pronounced than on the left side. And you'll see them get a little bit more creative, just creative, I guess, in a different way. Just get a little bit more right boost, side. a little bit more pop than yep. just kind of yep. try to butter off of the edge there. You'll so again, it's a 20 minute jam session. We're working our way towards 18 minutes left on the clock as of right now. Again, no individual scores. It's all about live ranking, if you will. Our judges are basically just slating these guys in a ranking order, and it is winner take all as we welcome in Aspen's Torin Yater Wallace. Torin, nose butter 720. Super clean, he's just back from Japan. And this is the first time I've seen him compete in a while. He had a pretty bad injury last year that he is recovering from, and this is just such a great event to, to welcome him back. Here's a look at it. When I say nose butter, it's really just pressing the tips into that flat part before the knuckle, and then he sets that trick, and then he tapped his tails as he was coming around too, so looking really, really solid. Yeah, Torn actually shattered both his heels at the Dew Tour in December of 2018. Uh, last time we saw him here at uh, X Games Aspen was 2018, where he finished third in Superpipe. Taking a look at the start list here, we're halfway through the order, and again, our field reporter and one of our X Games analysts this week, Tom Wallace, he's in the mix, he's hungry. He wants to try to get a win out here tonight. We'll see him second to last in the run order, but right now, this is Quinn Wolferman out of Park City, Utah, another X Games rookie. Woo! Nice little Nolly Bio 720 there. Landing clean, we haven't seen someone do that cork rotation, just taking it forward over the shoulder instead of back like you'd see in a cork. So he's coming in switch, 180 there, and then popping off the tips of his skis, little Bio 720, and landing clean. Just sends it about halfway, two thirds of the way down the landing there. And you can see on that follow cam shot, you can see that little pronounced lift that they kind of groomed out right there to give him a little extra boost. Alex Hall. Saw him earlier tonight in men's big air elimination. Wasn't able to make the cut, so let's see what we can put down here in Knucklehawk. Ooh, three to tap to cork nine. Yeah, he's hungry. I think uh, 
He left a little on the table. Just missed it by one there. spot. It was a five cut. He was oh. one spot outside, finished in six. So yeah, looking for a little redemption here tonight with a hand drag. Nice little hand drag, bringing it to switch. I mean, it's tough. Like, they're not getting a ton of airtime. I mean, this is the, the landing of the big air jump, but obviously they're just using the leverage they can develop in their skis. Pretty impressive. Another Swedish competitor in the mix. Bunny hopping over some signage there. This is Magnus <laughs> Grainer. Is the that a lighter? Was that signage? Oh, my gosh. Did he just do the torso I'm drag need to over the see knuckle? a replay of that one. Yeah, just the torso. What just happened right there? <laughs> I don't know, but he, I... That just gave just, my belly hypothermia watching that. Oh, I love it. Just dragging the tips. This is, I think, what he refers to as a peanut butter 360. <laughs> dragging the hand, too. Okay, at real time speed, it I looked like he just Magnus. completely dragged oh. the whole front side down, the knuckle of the landing there. But look at the pop that he gets coming off of Seriously. that. Seriously. Look how deep he sends it out of that. How do you do that? I don't know. These. That's what I love about this. It's really, I mean, the creativity is just next level. Hey! Look at that smiling face right there. By the way, he's an X Games gold medalist. He got a slip style gold back in 2012. It's none other than Tom Wallish. Nice, Tom. Coming in, a little 180 to a little tail press to the cork five. High speed there, guys. Well, talk us through what just happened right there. Well, I went for the hand drag. I didn't get the tips down, but man, we're having so much fun. This event is just like, creative skiers from all different realms of the sport free skiing putting it on the map this is what it's all about let's go he's got completely <laughs> parallel to the ground right there went for the double hand drag before you send it to the halfway point of the landing nicely Should done there tom needed a little bit more after bang on the landing though maybe next time <laughs> hey the good news is you still have 14:45 to go you got lots okay, of time okay. to make that happen Love it. Hendrik Love it. harlow he's chasing a a record out here tonight. If he wins gold here, he would surpass Tanner Hall for most ski medals. Oh. Opting for the left side, so really taking advantage of that smooth knuckle and just staying in that nose press so long, just letting it dip over. Henrik might love skiing more than anyone on the universe. He's picking up on the energy factor from where he left off. Oh my goodness. To the switch front flip. Just dragged his knuckle on that one and then tucks into the front flip I as he's drifting backwards. And just balling up, just keeping those feet so close to his chest. Colby Stevenson sits in that top spot as of right now, and ironically, he is on course right now for his second attempt. Ooh, the five tap to five. Sick, wow. Colby. Lighten it up. You heard Tom mention it earlier in that course description, creativity, ingenuity, some of the things we're looking for out here. We tried this last year with snowboarding. It's the first time it's been done in skiing here at X Games Aspen. Yeah, so you got a good look at that trick. He does a five off the first little part of the jump and then just taps the skis, brings it around, gets the grab. Looking solid. Well, I'll keep him in that top spot for right now. Henrik Harlow sits in the number two position. Remember, it's not a full podium out here in Ski Knuckle Huck. It's winner take all, so it's just about the gold out here tonight. Alex Hall sitting in that third place position. Still plenty of time left here. We're not even at the halfway mark as we welcome back in Torrent Yair Wallace, owner of a total of six X Games medals in his career. Torrent's looking pretty comfortable out here, coming in switch that time. Popping around 180. Into the nose press. Staying on that skier's left side, not utilizing that lip on the right. Pretty good pop there, drifting from skier's left to skier's right, sending it pretty deep good. into the landing. Quinn. Wolferman on deck, group skiing at the Montana Snowball, currently skis at Park City as well as Alta. Oh, what? Wow. The switch Branny. Yeah, Quinn. Quinn's getting pretty creative out here. I'm kind of liking what I'm seeing from him. A super slow motion rotation. See it in slow mo to fully appreciate it. Switch backflip 180. Boom. 
I love it. How do you get that kind of pop just coming off of the roller there? So we go back up to the top of the order. As we mentioned before, we have already gone halfway through the jam session. We're coming down the course out of Utah. Your current leader right now, this is Colby Stevenson. By the way, he's an X Games rookie. Changing up the side here, going for that left side, getting really playful all across the flat top of this knuckle. Yeah, he's the only rookie in this field and currently sitting in the top spot. Uh, he's been in that top spot early on and not much has changed there. No one's been able to really overtake him right there. So he's been in that spot early on and that's, uh, I mean, he was second to go in the lineup and he's been in that spot pretty much the entire competition thus far as we are working our way. We're a couple seconds away from the eight and a half minute mark. Hometown Boeing on course right now. This is Torin Yader Wallace. Taking it up, adding another half rotation there to what he has been doing. Sticking to that left side. And fairly similar. I think the judges are really looking for a lot of variety tonight. He might need to start changing up what he's doing on his next few rounds in order to start moving up in the rankings. So it's Stevenson, Wolferman, Harlow, your one, two, three as of right now. Can anyone take that top spot away from Colby Stevenson here in the next six minutes and 45 seconds, Jen? Magnus might be able to do it. If he's got the creativity, that's for sure. Ooh, oh my gosh. Okay, that was a switch, Brandy. Switch front flip 180 off the knuckle. And the snow wash. <laughs> in the, <laughs> the first Sorry, thing he said, he apologizes right out the gate. <laughs> Oh my drag. gosh, the hand drag, fully getting up onto the tips of the skis right off the knuckle and taking it to the bottom of the landing. Again, it's having the most there fun out here tonight, again. I would have to say. Let's let him I'm call his next run. Faster. Double duty. He said he's going a little bit faster this go around. Ooh, just the tail tap right over. 180 right over the knuckle. And there you are with the <laughs> snow cam view. <laughs> Courtesy of the Magnus snow shower right there. Can we get a chamois down there with that camera in the corral? Whoa. Yeah, we gotta clean just that one off. In, tapping the tails just ever so slightly and then I holding the that one rotation. Foot here. <laughs> yeah, one foot landing. That was that was it. You nailed it. <laughs> hey, hey Tom. Sort of a pirouette. Tom, you want an interesting stat out here tonight? What's that? You're the oldest skier at X Games Aspen this year at 32. Okay, what? okay. Elder Still statesman, buddy. I don't know if he's gonna like that or I'm gonna get an elbow in the ribs later on, but Henrik Harlow. Henrik Harlow just lit this place on fire. And such a fun balance between his switch front flip and then setting this nose butter, just, I mean, wrapping it up. Boom, cork 10. Just it like that. Like he was gonna lose With his goggles no air. There I, don't, I just don't understand. And then the, the hood of his jacket is impeding his line of sight at one point in the slow-mo there. Back up to the top as we're under the five minute mark. They do have to ski in order, but it is a jam session. That is the story out here tonight at Ski Knuckle Hawk. And look. Oh, I appreciate his commitment to trying to get this trick. And this is what's so fun. He's out here just to try to do the weirdest, craziest stuff that's never been done before. It's fun. That was wild. Just a hip check on the knuckle and just pitches him forward. Your current leader, Colby Stevenson, an X Games rookie. He's been in that top spot from early on. Can anybody take it away as we're working towards four minutes left to go? He's looking pretty solid right now. I mean, Quinn, I think, has a chance to, to edge in there, just given how scores or rankings, at least, have been coming in so far. Just pressing off the tails, reaching back for the grab, not quite getting it. That's the only thing I can really see that the judges are going to fault him for here. Yeah, I mean, he's the second guy in the run order. And the family's visibly Parents happy about that, rightly so. And you know what? It's it. your first ever X Games. You're sitting in the top spot. I mean, that's a great way to start your X Games career, walking out of here, first time event, walking away with the gold. That is not how I started my X Games career. <laughs> It didn't go that way for you, Jen. A lot of tears. Nice, Torin. It's just great to see Torin out here skiing in front of the hometown crowd. 
You know, and going back to what I was saying earlier, that you got guys that come from all different walks of the sport. I mean, Torn, uh, we're known as a pipe skier. He happens to own two super pipe golds, two silvers, and two bronze medals in his X Games stats. Not too shabby. Not at all. But I mean, you got big air guys, you got pipe guys, slope style guys, guys that are known. I mean, you know, got guys coming out of the real ski, which is a video competition that have never actually been at an on-site X Games competition before. So you really you're bringing all these different pieces of the puzzle together out here tonight. Absolutely. Another look at Quinn here. Our other X Games rookie who sits in that number two spot. How about that? Look at two rookies in first and second, respectively. And then you've got Henrik Harlow, a five-time Big Air gold medalist, sitting in third. So impressive how he can generate so much flip and rotation to get that Misty in right off the tails of his skis here. Boom. Alex Hall. Ooh, seven did tap, he, Did five. he tap on that? It was so hard to see at real time speed. He went for the tap. Whether or not, did he make contact? That is the question. It, like he, it was hard to tell, but I think he got it. He's smiling. That feels good. <laughs> so we are under the two minute mark here. Take a look at it. See if he gets the nose tap here on the knuckle. Oh, not quite, but somehow still manages to keep the rotation going. Well, welcome to X Games Aspen 2020. We are under two minutes to go here in our first ever contested ski knuckle huck event out here at Buttermilk Mountain. We have an X Games rookie sitting in the top spot as of right now. It's Colby Stevenson with a little bit of time still on the clock. It is still up for grabs, but the story tonight, can an X Games rookie take home gold out here tonight in this first ever event in ski? Magnus was the real ski winner in 2017. Fun to see him in person here under the lights. All right, Tom. The elder statesman in the group at 32 years old and uh, arguably having the most fun out there in the entire field tonight. Tom Wallace sending it. Love it. Hand drag three there. There's the after bag I wanted to get in at some point. So Little heavy head. So you're saying you're, you're feeling pretty comfortable after that one. You're happy with that? I'm having a lot of fun. I'm not expecting to win, but this event is just so fun. It's so cool to see X Games yep. involved. Something with all these athletes. This is awesome. So with under a minute to go and Henrik Harlow on course, we'll go back up to the top with still some time on the clock, which means we'll do it all over again. One more round of runs. Alex Hall jumped up into the top three, by the way, Ooh. looking at the live ranking over here on that monitor. Yeah, he uh, that last jump was nice and clean, so he bumped up. Let's go, one more. So this is where we stand. Time has expired, but we go back up to the top. They're all going to get one more round of runs here. This is for the gold. It is winner take all. Colby Stevenson is an X Games rookie, his first ever appearance, and he has been in that top spot for pretty much this entire competition. Can anyone take him down, or is the rookie walking away with gold? As we go back up top and bring back in Per Haglin, Did I, he didn't get that. What he's trying to do though, I believe at least from what I'm watching, is really fighting his momentum. So he's trying to let the body fully go into that sideways position and then bring it back to bring his feet underneath him. A lot harder than it might look. This is your current leader, but what's happened thus far in that last round, Henrik Harlow has overtaken Quinn Wolferman. So Henrik Harlow now sits in second. Boom. Kobe's just had such a Boom. great jam session. And again, there's no individual run scores out here. This is about overall impression with our judges. But I don't think we've seen him fall once. I, I was just going to ask you. And everything seems to get better. He's reaching back there, getting the stale, putting the feet down. I mean, the last time he didn't get the grab on that, so. I don't think he's had one real slip up either. I mean, obviously, he's been in that top spot the entire time. But what we've seen out of Henrik, Henrik's cleaned it up mm -hmm. with each individual run. And he now sits in that number two position. So that'll get real interesting as we get to the bottom of the pack, because Henrik gets to ski in the last position. We bring back in Torrin Eater Wallace for his final jump. Nice. 
Horn having a good time out here, fresh off the plane from Japan. All right, Tom, you've called a couple of your runs. We're going to make you do a little extra work out here. You're going to call this next run for us. Let's do it. I'm a little out of breath from walking up those stairs, but we got Quinn Wolferman coming in. This is fun kid to watch. Coming in switch. Switch 180. Nose butter nine. Super smooth. I love those nollies he's doing too. Really creative. I love that stuff. Seems like he's had some of the most variety that we've seen out here tonight. From cork rotations to those bios. And he's another one that's had a great overall jam session. Again, he sat in that number two position just behind Colby for most of this competition. We haven't seen his name switch around yet, so it looks like he'll stay in that number three spot. Park City, Utah's Alex Hall sitting fourth right now. Whoa. Magnus just over-rotating a little bit there. But his... Uh, his little ollie over the sign up top might be one of my favorite things. Yeah, that little little ollie, and then he tried to do the torso slide there off the knuckle. All right, we're down to our final two. That was Magnus Grainer. Now we see Tom Wallace. Tom, you want to call this last run? Yeah, let's do another one. Switch 180, hand drug, five. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did a couple of those, but <laughs> might be one of my favorite tricks. So you had to get one more in for the crowd. And man, thanks, thanks everybody, everybody for watching, watching really. This is this is a good, good time. time. Hey, you get a gold medal in my book for voice inflection right there. It's like hand drag five. <laughs> That's good stuff, buddy. Nice, thank you. So Colby Stevenson, an X Games rookie, sitting in the top spot. But there's one more skier left to go in the last round. He bumped himself up to the number two position. Can he overtake for the gold and chase a record out here? It's all for the marbles right here with Henrik Harlow. Oh! Oh, no! It goes down! Going for the double! Not getting it. Oh, my gosh. Everyone at the bottom is like, how did he just dub that? Like, this is not, it is so hard to get that much pop off of, off of this knuckle. It's looking like Colby's going to walk out of here with a gold. And as they place it around his neck, I'm going to say that, that is definitely the case here. How about that? Colby Stevenson, first ever X Games, walks out of here with gold.